When Jesus was raised from the dead, one of the first activities that he engaged in was to teach about himself. He had no New Testament. He had no Christian book. So actually Jesus starts, Luke tells us, with the Torah, the writings of Moses, the prophets and the writings. That reflects the threefold division of the Hebrew Bible, Torah, Nevi'im and Ketuvim. Jesus was able to take those disciples on a journey through those scriptures. That's what Explorations Ministries is really devoted to, exploring Christ in all the scriptures. And Jesus' starting point was the Torah. Unfortunately, there is really no English word that is a complete equivalent to the Hebrew word Torah. In the second century before Jesus, when Greek translators were putting the Hebrew into Greek, they found no adequate word. They used the word nomos, or law. But law really is a misleading word. It's about an external imposition. It's about, as it were, something external to ourselves. The root of the word Torah comes from the Hebrew verb yara, from which we even get the modern word for a female teacher, amora. So that the fundamental idea behind Torah is not the external imposition of law, but rather guidance, direction, because the word yara was a verb used in Hebrew of firing an arrow, giving it direction, giving it guidance. And so when you take a person's life to give them guidance or direction, when you teach them, in other words, when you give them your Torah, you're putting their life on target. So you get this idea in the book of Proverbs, my son, I want you to listen to the Torah, the teaching of your mother. This was something that was an absolute delight and a treasure to Israel. The psalmist was able to say, how I love your Torah. It is more precious than gold. It is sweeter than honey. So a word that has become very negative in its overtones in English. Rather, we've got to regain and recapture the exciting, dynamic and lovely and worthwhile and positive aspect from the original Hebrew. Because in this teaching, God wants the lives of his people to be on target. He wants us to have a goal, a God-given goal, that is enormously liberating. So, let's try to train our minds to leave aside this idea of law and enter into the exciting world of exploring God's guidance, his teaching, his direction to keep us on target. <laughs>